Thanks for joining us for the Fire Situation Report for today, Tuesday, August 11, 2015. I'm Daniel Berlant, live at the CAL FIRE headquarters in Sacramento. Again, it's been another busy day for fire activity across California. In fact, uh, yesterday, crews responded to several new fires. Uh, several of them did become large. Now, crews have been made some progress on many other fronts. We'll talk about that in a moment. The weather, though, continues to be the biggest challenge here. And it's not extreme temperatures. It's not strong, gusty winds. It's those dry conditions that continue to fuel fires. We'll talk about the Jerusalem fire first. I want to start, though, with some video. This is the Jerusalem fire that's burning in Lake County. I'll show you a map of where it is. This is at night. You can just see how even with uh, the night uh, cooler temperatures. These, this fire is still burning at a very explosive rate. Very similar conditions and very similar activity like we saw when the Rocky Fire ignited uh, the first uh, several days of, of the Rocky Fire. Now obviously we are hoping that this fire will not grow to the same magnitude as the Rocky Fire, but conditions continue to be prime for firefighting. Here you can see some of the uh, inmate hand crews that uh, CAL FIRE and the Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation have. In fact, we have about 3,900 of these low-level inmates that are used, are trained as firefighters and used on the front lines to battle fires. I want to come back to this video right here though. This is when we talk about containment line, some of the, the work that is being done. As the fire approaches, this crew here is using hand tools to remove all the vegetation so that this fire does not have anything to grow to uh, to burn. They're also using chainsaws, other things to cut down any of the brush. Again, we want to create that distance between the fuel, which is the brush and the grass and the trees, and the fire itself. So when we talk about containment line, often it looks like this. Now this is obviously a much smaller containment line that's being worked on. Uh, in many cases, we'll use bulldozers and they'll be much longer uh, and much wider as well. But again, crews working overnight to build containment line as this fire continues to grow. We'll switch right over to our interactive uh, Google map where you can see here is the Jerusalem fire. It's just south of the Rocky Fire. The Rocky Fire holding up just under 70,000 acres, it is 88% contained. So crews are making very good progress on this Rocky Fire that had been threatening the communities of Clear Lake and Lower Lake uh, earlier this month and, and at the end of last month. But here's the Jerusalem Fire. It has now grown to 12,000 acres. It burned throughout the night, very active firefighting. Crews have really been actively battling this fire. Now, here is where it is burning. This is the small community of Hidden Valley Lake. This is the Jerusalem Valley in here. About 50 homes are in the evacuation area right in this region. They've all been evacuated. This fire is burning really to the southeast and to the southerly direction. As you can see, it has crossed into Napa County. So it is now burning in both Lake County as well as Napa County. Again, it's burning to the southeast, kind of in this direction here. Not a lot of activity going up on the north, and if it did, obviously we're, we would use some of those existing lines from the Rocky Fire uh, to keep it contained. Now, over 1,200 firefighters right now battling the Jerusalem Fire. As we're making progress on the Rocky Fire, those crews, a lot of them reassigned to this fire as well. Zoom out in, I want to zoom out though a little bit and you can see some of the other fires uh, that we're battling. By the way, Jerusalem Fire, 12,000 acres, no reported containment yet. Rocky Fire, just under 70,000 acres, 88% contained. So some good progress being made there. Uh, I want to uh, zoom into one of the new fires though that ignited yesterday. This is the Anza fire. It burned just about 50 acre, uh, 500 acres, excuse me, near the community of Anza in Riverside County. This is just off Highway 74 here. You can see Highway 74, Highway 371. This fire uh, holding now that just under 500 acres right now this morning, 20% contained. All evacuations in Riverside County were lifted and part of Highway 74 has been reopened to one lane. So uh, if you're in Southern California, especially in the desert area towards, uh, uh, towards uh, the Riverside County area, again, Highway 74 now reopened from the Anza fire, again, holding at 500 acres or so. Again, that's really our only fire burning in, in Southern California. While we do have a fire that's over here in Ventura County, that's the Choro Fire, it's expected to be fully contained today. It burned in the Los Padres National Forest uh, just about 280 acres, but again, full containment expected today. Several fires in the Central Valley. I want to show you this one right here. The Cabin Fire. It's burnt uh, just over 5,000 acres in uh, Tulare County. Uh, that fire, though, uh, almost uh, fully contained as well. 
Here's the rough fire burning in Fresno County. It continues to burn. Another fire in Fresno County, the Music Fire. The Willow Fire, that was a big one that caused evacuations as well. The Willow Fire holding at 5,700 acres, 95% contained. So again, a lot of these fires here in the Central Valley, Central Sierra, are nearing containment with good progress being made there. Uh, the other fire uh, to uh, talk about is the Lowell Fire. It's the fire that uh, started last, uh, last month uh, in the Nevada County area. Here we are. You can see the community of you bet grass valleys here uh community of auburn down here colfax alta this fire is holding right now at 2300 acres or so it has uh continued though uh to not grow at all in fact crews are making very good progress just over 2300 acres are have burned here 95 percent contained full containment is expected here within the next day or so but in some of these areas especially on the northern uh tip of this fire access can be very challenging so uh, good progress being made there hopefully containment uh, shortly want to zoom out though and come back over here to Trinity County again that's the area that's really seen the most fire activity you can see several of the icons here the complexes that are burning I want to go through a couple of them uh, we'll start here with the fork complex that uh, fire uh, has now burned just over 24,000 acres it is 22 percent contained uh, Cal Fire and the U.S. Forest Service in unified command on that fire, making good progress on that front. Over here, the Mad River Complex. That fire has burned just under 20,000 acres, 38% contained. This is on the Six Rivers National Forest, the U.S. Forest Service battling that fire. The South Complex, another one of these large fires, 14,000 acres, 13% contained there. And then up here uh, to the north is the river complex. Uh, the river complex has now burned over 21,000 acres and is 12% contained. So, uh, so a lot of activity here in Trinity County. Now, Trinity County, not out of the woods yet. I want to switch right over to our uh, uh, map over here uh, for our fire weather. You can see this is an area where we're seeing a red flag warning for high fire danger. That's because we're expecting gusty winds throughout this region. Now, now, uh, right here, Siskiyou County, uh, as well as further south down into, this is a better map here, uh, Siskiyou County along the I-5 corridor right in here. That's where this red flag warning takes place, as well as a good portion of Trinity County, both under red flag warnings. Over here, a fire weather watch all the way from Lake Tahoe all the way into Lassen County. Again, those gusty winds, what we're expecting over the next several days, continued winds coming out of the southwest, very gusty in these mountain areas, red flag warning, fire weather watch, all because of that high fire danger. So you really got to make sure uh, that you're safe. I want to show you just a couple photos. These were taken from our friends from the Nevada Division of Forestry. This is from the Jerusalem fire. You can see one of our fire engines from San Bernardino County. Uh, again, bringing resources from all over, not just Cal Fire, local government, fire departments, cities, counties, fire districts, all coming to help battle this fire. In fact, as I mentioned, we even have crews from out of state. This is the Nevada Division of Forestry. They've sent several of their fire crews to help battle the fire. This is the Jerusalem fires you can see very active yesterday as well. But the Nevada Division of Forestry, just one of three states that are assisting us, Arizona, New Mexico, all helping out as well. Again, Battling these fires takes a lot of resources, and that's where California's mutual aid system comes into play. It's not just CAL FIRE. It's not just the U.S. Forest Service. We have fire departments from all over the state and, again, all over the West here. So, uh, again, a very busy day for us, fire activity. We're expecting continued uh, activity, especially on the Jerusalem fire. If you, if you didn't get the information on the fire that you want, you can always visit our website at fire.ca.gov. You can find this interactive Google map. Zoom in. You can see the perimeters of all these fires in Trinity County uh, and see exactly in relation to maybe an area that you know about. So fire.ca.gov. Follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Now that's the latest on the fire situation in California. I'm Daniel Berlant. Have a fire safe day.